So again, I'm saying Oogie get um I'm at Oogie's help. I'm 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 finna run down to tell his people that he got shot. And so I'm running down to tell Oogie people that he got shot. And something out of the corner of my eye, I just like see somebody kind of like laying towards like the bushes. And so like, luckily I see it cause I was running so fast, I got wheels. So I'm running so fast and then I just see that. And then I, I, I kind of scared, but like, I just like, hold up. If that's somebody laying in the ground, that's another, that's another one of the guys potentially did. And this would be platoon. So I run over there like pretty much cause, and then I saw the building that he came out of and I'm like, his girl lived in that building and how they killed him. You could tell like, well, we already know that the building that they was trying to get into was right next to the building he was coming out of. And he was only coming out of it probably because like any shots go on on the block, nine times out of 10, it was only it's our doing. We ain't have situations where the ops come on the block and they send the shots at the, and anything like that. And so man, seeing tune like that, man, seeing like, you know, I think they hit him with like exploding tips. So whereas as soon as it, you, it hit you, you know, and 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 that was like a, a a grave sight, you know. And um, where were you at when Platoon was shot? Uh, uh when he was shot, I think I heard of like man, cause I like I told you so much stuff had happened, when, right? And, and so it'd be so hard to really think about all of it when I'm thinking about Oogie. But I heard a few more shots go off before I ran downstairs to a Oogie. There was a few more shots that went off, but it was kind of like in the distance. And that's why I tell you, like, I have so many emotions bottled up where it's like, nigga, I'm the only one out there running around. I'm trying to go help folks. And these niggas could have still got up with me because they still was on a block. Like, but I was, man, again, like, nigga, I wasn't thinking about it. I'm trying to help my friend, period. I'm trying to get to his people and them so that they could know that he is shot. And, and I didn't know what kind of that grave danger he was in. But I saw a uh, platoon man right there. Brains just, he got killed right in front of his girlfriend house, man. Right in front of his girlfriend house, man. And, um, yeah, it was just a... Uh, 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 a lot of emotions going through through my head, but yeah, and that was the last day that I saw Fredo. Fredo was literally he came on the block. You know, if some after somebody died, Fredo was on the block, man. And I just remember walking around him on the block, man, just crying, talking to him like fool, like you know, really I was sad at the fact that Platoon died and how he was acting when O got killed and now he dead. And then, you know, me seeing his brains and I was, you know, a little bit of happy because Oogie was still alive. And, you know, that was, you know, my everyday friend who I would hang with, man. So I had a lot of emotions going on. Who I was staying with, I should have been in the house after that. Nigga, they should have made me go in the house, but you know, we was blockheads, man. Niggas couldn't take us off the block. We was on the block, man, every day, all day. Niggas crying to get outside. <laughs> but, but yeah, that was one of the worst days of my life, man. To see brains like that, this ain't no movie. This ain't no movie. This real life to see a homie like you. And then I couldn't even see where he got shot at. You know, like, because Oogie had so much blood. I'm like, bro, where is you even shot at? He ain't even know, man. He was bleeding from his ear to his mouth, from his hand. So, and then he had his hands over there. So, it was so much blood coming out. The scene of, um, and me and Platoon, we, we had, like, the same color-ish jacket where it was, like, dark, like a dark blue and, like, a dark uh, gray uh, striped hoodie, and then like the lady that I was living with, um, she thought that 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 it was me, and I'm in my head like, it's crazy that you even thought that it was me, cause the situation that had happened, I, damn near like I would have gotten at least shot, at the at the least I would have been shot, and if it was two of us right there, I'm I'm just banking on that, that they would have probably finished both of us off knowing that it's two, sending the, twice the amount of shots because it's two people. But yeah, man, crazy situation, man, crazy situation. Did that change you at all? Hell yeah, it changed what I wanted to do with my life. I started to look at how they was going out and it wasn't making me no monster. It wasn't making me, uh, mind you, man, I came in through death. My dad died and I was born that seven months. I seen my granny get killed at a young age. I seen this, these type of things I was used to, but I was, you know, man, from these, situ these strings of situations, I'm like, man, I thought about my nephew and my niece and I'm like, 
I can't I can't die to the streets. I can't die in the streets. And um I I need a way out. Seeing all this stuff, I'm like, man, I gotta and and there was no way out other than the seeking the truth, the God of this world, the God who created all of us, who many people we feel shame to talk about them because it's not a popular thing to do. But nigga, I'll never let nobody make me feel shameful for the one who set me free of my past life and who gave me my new life. And he want to do the same with, the, with everybody, no matter what you look like, because this is just a costume to the spirit that you hold that is his. Your spirit is has no face. This is a costume. But uh, anyway, man, yeah, it, for sure, uh, I started to really think about where I was going to be at. And not only that, but like how I wanted to be, how did I want it to be remembered? Did I want it to be remembered being killed in the street by a, 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 a brother who don't know who he really is? Because that's why we killing each other. We don't know who we are. And if we knew who we were, <laughs> there'd be no way that the that they would uh you know we would be allowed to be tricked as how we being tricked now to actually killing each other, running each other down in the streets, gunning each other down over blocks, over gangs that none of us created, over these things that we get no monetary act. It's literally no substance to the things that we kill each other over. We kill each other over words, over hate that is embedded and rooted in and in, 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 in things that again it's no substance and we just fight in a war with really no no cause to fight in. and the only cause that niggas gonna say is is that oh they killed our homies and they killing us and they killed us so that's why we go and, and, and we kill them and it's just like it's a, a never ending cycle. Like Vaughn said, you gonna damn sure you gonna damn that need all the players to be gone for the game to end. But it's sad that we look at it like that. That talks about a strong delusion. That is the strong delusion that the most high said he will send upon those who don't believe the, the the love of the truth, which is the Bible. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.